Looking for cheap and reliable Madden 21 Ultimate Team coins? Head on over to u4gm.com, Madden NFL 21 coins, and use code SPORTS for 5% off your order. What's up guys, it's Duke back here from SportsGamers.com. Today's Madden 21 tip, I'm going to break down one of my favorite lockdown coverage defenses that you can use to successfully shut down any of the most high-powered offenses you guys see online, from the gun bunch to the gun trips, tight end, Trey Y flex, whatever. All those dominant passing offenses will get shut down easily by this defense. Now, we're going to be looking at the dollar formation on defense this isn't a lot of playbooks this year. Personally, I like to run it out of the 4-6 playbook. And we did just release our 4-6 defensive guide on sportsgamers.com for Madden 21. I definitely recommend checking it out. We got some new blitz schemes, best defensive scheme in the game, best blitz in the game, coverages, rundies, everything you need to dominate on defense in Madden 21, we got it in this 4-6 guide. I will link it in the description, so make sure you guys check it out. But we are going to be looking at the play dollar, and we're going to be looking at the cover three cloud show two. Now, I do have some specific coaching adjustments I like to make. I like to have auto flip off with this defense, and I like to make sure my zone drops for flats are 20, maybe 25, depending, but curl flats are going to be on five. Now, this is a formation to where you're going to want to have a decent D-line. Um, we're only going to be really rushing three. So, like, I like to at least have one or two D linemen that with some good pass rush moves, preferably an ability. Um, I really like on my DNs either edge threat or under pressure personally. Both really good. Now, also, this formation, you know, if you don't have good linebackers, it's one where you can sub your safeties in the game to get some more speed in. Um, so, you know, if you don't have the fastest guys, you can definitely put some safeties in the game. So let's get into it now. Just as a reminder though, if you're enjoying our content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, turn your notifications on so you don't miss any of our videos, and also smash that like button, it really does help us out a lot. So looking at the gum bunch, this is the most common, one of the most common and hard to stop offenses on this year's game. The Atlanta playbook actually has a really, really good gum bunch. And one of the most common things you see online is people that are running some sort of concept like this where they basically have a you know an in route coming back over the middle from the solo side with a small routed corner route, a flat, and a streak. The reason for this is, well, the small routed corner route is super glitchy this year. It basically turns into a slant out. It can get behind cover two clouds unless you use zone drops. And then when you couple with a flat route, it's really hard to stop. Then even when you do the streak here, it can be a bomb against cover threes. Very, very hard to stop. But this coverage I'm about to show you guys can lock this up. It can lock up the mesh posts, the crossers. The verticals, everything you need, we got you covered here. So let's get into what I like to do with my adjustments. So I already showed you my zone drops. So after that, what I do is I base a line, and then I simply just put the right slot corner into a curl flat assignment. And I do that by hitting coverage audible twice, his icon, which is here, R1. By the way, coverage audible, guys, is triangle if you're on PlayStation. And, uh, you know, we're going to put him in a curl flat by hitting to the right on the left analog stick. Now remember, I set my curl flats to 5 and my flats, like cloud flats or whatever, to 20. So what's going to happen here is with this cloud flat over here, he's going to drop back 20 yards, so he'll take away any corner routes. This guy, he's dropping to 5, so he'll take away any flats. Then over here, this guy's going to drop to 5 as well, so he'll take any flats away as well. Now most players, they don't really have, you know, too many routes that are going to attack deep on the sideline other than like a crosser on the lone receiver side. So that's why I like to have this guy always dropping in the flats. Most people try to maybe send the running back out of the backfield or send a drag across the field. Um, important to note, you always want to have this cloud flat uh, outside corner side of the formation on the strong side of the bunch or on the wide side of the field where they have their bunch side of the formation. Very important. So like where the bunch is, you want this outside corner in the cloud flat. The lone receiver you want in this uh, little uh, deep zone. Now... Other thing you can watch out for is if they have bombs to the lone receiver side, instead of having this guy in a third, you can put him in a deep half and that will help you out a bit. Uh, but like honestly for me, I just watch them to see if they have any bomb plays and if they do, I'll kind of watch them myself, but I'm not going to just over adjust to it before I see that. Now, I like to control the linebacker in the three-wreck hook, kind of just defend the middle of the field myself. 
I'm mainly looking for like crossers and posts and just deeper routes coming over the middle of the field basically is what I'm looking for. The only other adjustment you might want to make is just move this cover three safety more in the middle of the field. This is just in case they have any bomb plays that are going to get by this uh, side of the field over here. That this guy's more in the middle of the field to be able to defend them. Um, that is kind of important and it, that would be something I would recommend doing if you do have the time to get that uh, set up off. But anyways, let's look at how this defense will look with the smart right corner. Street flat. So as you guys can see here, we're able to basically lock this up. Now you guys will see in the replay why I said it's important to move that safety more towards the middle of the field to the bunch side. Is because against setups like this, you can potentially get bombed depending upon if the slot gets that free release or not. Like this. If he gets that free release with the corner and the streak, this guy right here, he's going to kind of get dumbed out. So by moving the safety in the middle of the field, he's kind of in position to defend this as long as he's fast. If he's too slow though, he can still get bombed. So I always make sure your safeties have speed first and foremost. But as you guys can see, the cloud flat is going to stay back for the corner and my flat is going to take away the underneath. My flat over here will take it anywhere underneath. Uh, and then I have the hook zone in the middle of the field watching that and then once he passes it off towards me That's my responsibility um, Again, this is a really really easy way to defend these combos a lot of people run trying to attack the flats guys The flats are really 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 effective this year now the other thing I really like about moving that safety into the middle of the field is if they have some sort of route combo with a post whether it be like uh, like mesh post or this this clear out play with the tight end when you move him into the middle of the field He also defends the posts a lot better um, This right here again. You can kind of see my adjustment just move him down into the middle towards the bunch side And we're gonna have these two slot corners in the curl flats The reason why I do this is again I want to take away the flats and make them have to beat me over the middle of the field Which is where my user is defending anyway, so let's take a look at this right here You'll see that, again, I can kind of just pass that post off, defending myself, and there's really nothing else for me to even worry about on this play. Um, you'll notice also, if they try to run like a vertical type play, bunch trail, any of those types of plays where you're going to be having to worry about just a corner or a wheel route or whatever on the bunch side, by having the outside DB in a cloud flat and then also having the safety in a third on the bunch side of the field, you're really, really, really going to have a great defense for those sideline type routes. And by moving the safety over towards the middle, he's going to take away any potential bombs they're going to try to do to that side of the field as well. So at the end of the day, they're not really going to be able to attack you too well on the sideline with the bunch side of the field. You guys can see here. Um, they did take the motion snap kind of to where you have to almost wait for them to snap, set to snap the ball. But even if they do still try to throw that, you guys can see like we're in perfect position to take that away. I'm going to do it one more time. That time we actually kind of got screamed at real fast and we couldn't get the ball off. But again, all I'm doing is basin lining and I'm going to put my slot corner on the right in a curl flat. And then I like to move the safety kind of over to the bunch side in the middle of the field. But again, they did take the ability to motion snap this out. You have to kind of wait till he sets, but you guys are going to see here, even if you wait till he sets, you try to throw that, the safety sitting right there to easily pick that off. Or, you know, that DB is just, he's not going to give that up. Um, and then again, this is what allows me to defend the middle because I already know that the sideline and the flat on the bunch side, which is a very popular area to attack, this is taken away. So I just basically have to worry about the seam, middle of the field area myself. But again, you guys can see here, you try to throw this, this is blanketed. You guys see here, that's never that's never going to be a good read. Like you're you're not going to be able to complete a pass like this on us. This is triple coverage basically over here. Um, one of the other things people will do a lot at a bunch is a bunch trail. It's a very very good play because it does have the ability to hit a drag with the corner and then also you have a post with a trail route. That's very hard to stop this year. But again, this defense does a great job because you never really have to worry about the corner route or the flat on the bunch side of the field. So again, I just base line, put the right side corner in the curl flat, and then I just move the safety into the middle of the field uh, towards the bunch side. Again, that's just to take away bombs because if they do try to bomb you to the bunch side and this guy's over here, he probably won't react in time. But as long as he's fast, if you move him over here, they try to bomb you down the seam with like a corner combo, it's not going to work. Um, it's definitely not going to work. So... 
one of the more popular ways to run bunch trailers. There's a few different ways, but this right here is very effective because you got the corner, you got the drag, then you have the trail, and the post can be bombed as well. So you guys can see here, you guys can see there's nothing open. Um, the bomb is going to be taken away, the post route anyways, is going to be taken away by our deep safety. So you guys can see here, if they try to bomb this to Julio Jones on the post, the safety is just waiting for him in the middle of the field. You know, he's not going to give that up. Um, at the same time, you try to throw the drag and kind of just play it as it gets over the middle. But once it crosses, crosses excuse me, over to, to this side of the field, the flat is just waiting right there. I mean, I guess you could try to throw it and get hit immediately. Um, the corner out is completely defended because, again, we have this cloud flat just sitting there. And then the third is over the top as well. Um, and then I'm just kind of in the middle of the field. Again, my responsibility is always pretty much in the middle of the field. I will say if they do have a mobile quarterback and they like to scramble a lot, you might want to consider spying the linebacker that you don't use her. But again, I am free to defend the middle of the field as I see fit. Now, if you're going to sub in your safeties at linebacker, like I suggest, if you don't have good linebackers, you also can potentially man that linebacker up on whichever receiver in the bunch you consider to be a big threat. So like here, I don't really even have one subbed in, but let's say that you are having safeties at linebacker and they just continuously are hitting you with a, like say they're hitting you with a crosser, um, you know, a post, just something that you really don't want to defend. It's very easily taken away just by manning that guy up. Say like the slack guy kept hitting us with a crossing route, right? And we don't want to guard that. If you have a safety here and you man him up, you can just basically take that away and not even have to worry about it. Um, you know, Whitehead might do okay. We'll see how he does. But again, by doing that, then I can just stay down low on this uh, route to the flat, and it's easily, you know, it's easily defended. The other thing you have to realize is we do have the corner over there, so even if he does get a little bit of separation, unless he's getting run off the ball by like a streak or a deep post, he's going to be over there too. Now, this is what I said, though. This is something you might have to worry about if they're trying to bomb you because the, the thirds are matching small routed out routes right now. If they are trying to bomb you with this crossing route or, like, any sort of route to post or whatever to the short side when you're in this type of defense, the way you'll need to counter that so you don't get bombed, and they can bomb you from verticals, by the way, if they know how to do it, um, you're going to want to just... Basically, with a smart routed out route situation where they could bomb you, you're going to need to go ahead and and put this guy in a deep half instead of a third. But if you just leave it like this, I want to show you guys that any sort of cover 3-3 three, three deep type deal, you need to be aware of because as you guys can see, see how that third just kind of matches the smart routed out route? That can be a bomb. So, if you don't even want to have to worry about that, like if you see that they know how to do stuff like that and you don't want to have to manually guard it, because I mean, of course... You could just manly guard it, but if you don't, just put that outside corner into a deep half instead of leaving him in his outside third and do everything else the same. And now that's no longer even an issue. You don't have to worry about giving up bombs to that side of the field because if they try something like this, as you guys can see, that corner, he's just waiting there and you just click on. You can pick it off very, very easily. So that's how you get around that. And, you know, at the end of the day, this is, like I said, a three-man rush. You will get some sheds, especially if you have a good D-line, but the coverage is super, 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 super effective on this game. You guys can see again, there's literally nothing open here. Now, like I said, this defense is really, really good for the meta you see online, which is mostly a lot of bunch, a lot of trips. It will completely lock that up. Now, it is good against any sort of passing offense out there. It's going to be effective against. The only time I would not recommend being in this type of defense is if somebody is just heavily running the ball under center. There's really no point of playing a dollar type formation. But for all these explosive passing offenses you see, three receivers and whatnot, you definitely want to get in dollar. Now, you might be wondering, can you stop inside zone from this defense? And yes, you can stop inside zone very easily from dollar. Any really playing dollar, honestly, for the most part, you can. And if you guys would like to see that, drop me 300 likes on this video and I will show you how to do it in an upcoming video as well. Till next time, I'm out.